Hey guys, this is Noah's Gaming PC with another quick video. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, Optiplex office computers that you can do case swaps. And this is how I've done some of my uh, builds in the past. It's pretty convenient. So let's go ahead and look at my Jawa store real quickly. So just to, uh, we can see. So this, uh, I can show you kind of what I've done in the past. I still do this from time to time because it's very affordable and you may actually want to do it yourself as well. Let me see if I can find something uh, that is, let's see. I think this would be a good example. So you can see this is one of the older Intel Core i5s. And so if we take a look at the pictures here, you can kind of see the, uh, let's see if I can find, Okay, so you see here, you can see this is um, this is the an Optiplex CPU with fan and the motherboard with the RAM. So it's kind of vintage, kind of a little bit old. Let me see if I can find another example of what I've done before. Let me see, maybe this one here. I may have, let's see if I can find some pictures. Maybe this one here. Let me see, let me see. Uh, I wanna see if I have a picture where I see the motherboard, but um. Give me a second. Oh, this one, this one definitely. Okay, so just give me a second. So there we go. Uh, let me see if I can show you a close up. So you see, this is um, a case swap. So you can you see the the case itself is brand new, has RGB uh, lighting, but the interior components is consisting of a Optiplex computer. So if we quickly go to let's say eBay, this is where you can find some good deals. So this is eBay, this is an uh, older Optiplex 720 computer. So what I would do, or what I've done, or what I recommend if you guys wanna to try to build your own computers, instead of probably buying one of my computers, which, there, again, there's a lot of hassle and there's a lot of work to doing this, but this is what I call an Optiplex uh, case swap. So basically, I'll buy one of these computers for like 60 bucks, whatever. And these are the old office computers that they use like five, seven eight ten years ago in the office they get rid of these because they're upgrading their the entire buildings upgrading so you can buy one of these and inside this computer is uh, uh the motherboard the cpu the ram the fan a power supply etc etc so basically we use everything inside except for the case this case looks old it's not really good for gaming so um, what I'll do is I'll purchase that and then I'll go to like uh, Micro Center, for example, and I'll buy, and I'll get a nice case. So we'll get a case here. Let's go ahead and get one of the cases here, uh, computer case. And uh, let's say I like this case here, right? So I'll, I'll go ahead and buy this. This one it's a little bit on the pricey side, a hundred bucks, whatever. Um, let's, I, I normally go with this case here. It's more affordable. It's $45, but I can give you guys some ideas as to how you can do an Optiplex case swap. You basically buy one from eBay or wherever you can get these older Optiplex uh, office computers. You remove all the components from inside and you put them inside a brand new case. You do some connections. Now there is some four caveats that I will tell you, uh, since this is an older, um, older uh, motherboard here, um, not all, and this is normally Dell, Dell Optiplex, not all the connections that come with this, you're gonna be able to connect it to your modern PC case. So that's why some of the, um, some of the uh, power, uh, some of the uh, USBs and some of the stuff that come on the case itself won't work. The only one would work would be everything that's actually connected to the motherboard uh, so you see these um, uh, USBs, everything connected in the back of the case. Let me see if I can show you a picture. But all this right here, all of that still will work, mostly. And again, what you do is you get an affordable gaming budget, low-end gaming PC. By purchasing one of these, you take the components and you put it into a transplant. You're like a doctor. You're doing a surgery. You transplant the uh, what's inside here into a nice body, a nice newer case and you end up with something like this. So some a little bit older components, but you can still game on this. You can definitely game on this, but it looks much better. It's, it's a low budget, low end gaming PC, and you're gonna still be able to play. So just to give you an idea, I have a video here. 
and you can see we're getting over 100 FPS. It's a little bit small, but you're welcome to check out my gaming, uh, my my gaming or my YouTube channel for my Noah's gaming PCs. Look, 140, 130, 120. Again, it's a little small, but I invite you guys to watch the video. But basically, that's what you do. You, um, I will. I've forgotten to say that um, you need to purchase. In addition to purchasing this and purchasing this, you will need to get a graphics card, which you'll be able to install. So this this particular one has a, a GT 1030, and if we take a look at the pictures, there it is. You can see it right there. But uh, those are the three components that you need to do in order to do an Optiplex uh, case swap. You buy an older um, Optiplex Dell computer. You buy a modern PC case. And of course, you're going to buy a graphics card that you're going to insert in here. And uh, you end up with a very nice low budget, uh, low end uh, budget computer that lets you play Fortnite on uh, FPS that's greater than 100, 120. Um, and that's it, guys. That's kind of what I wanted to show you guys today. Um, how you can build your own computer again. It takes knowledge. It's not something you know, but if you look at some of my videos on Noah's gaming PCs I Have some videos here. I have a playlist called how to see if I can find it. I think I have it here how to How to there you go. There's a playlist here and uh, You go to the latest video I have here um, let's see, where is the video? This one. In this video, I teach you guys how to build a computer start to finish. Um, actually, no, this is the video here. But I teach you guys how to do that. Uh, excuse me for the advertisements here. So give me a second here. Uh, yeah, we'll wait for this video to end. But basically, in this video here, which I will probably link here to this video, you can uh, learn how to put a computer all together. Sorry for the long commercials, but again, um, that's it for this video. I wanted to show you what a Optiplex computer is, uh, a Optiplex a PC case uh, swap. You're basically uh, taking a older office computer, and there you go. Here's the video. Uh, is this the video that I wanted to show you? No, this was not. Where's the video? Oh, I'm sorry. This is the video. Here we are. So here I go. I show you guys how to take all the different components, how to put a, plug everything in, and again, if you feel adventurous and you want to try building your own gaming PC, you're welcome to do that. Or you're welcome to actually go to my gaming uh, website uh, on Java where you can actually purchase one of my gaming PCs. Again, this is Noah's Gaming PCs. Uh, quick little tutorials on how to build your own computers or you can purchase one of my computers. Uh, but that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, that's how you go about doing an Optiplex. Uh, case swap, uh, affordable option if you're looking for a low-end to budget gaming PC. Um, three components, purchase a old Optiplex computer, purchase a modern uh, PC case with some red, green, blue uh, lighting, and uh, go to Amazon or Micro Center or eBay. And this is one of my favorite um, uh, graphics cards that I would RX 460 uh two gigabytes and you just take this and you plug it into the um into the pci express or the video card slot on the older optiplex motherboard and you'll be able to game on uh low settings 1080p fortnite easily averaging 120 and 110 fps but that's it guys hopefully you guys learned a thing or two um check out this video if you want some more details on how to uh, build a computer start to scratch uh, from uh, start to scratch uh, from scratch I should say and um, that's it guys thank you for your attention I'm Noah's Gaming PCs uh, check out our F my FPS videos where I, I test out a whole bunch of different stuff and I teach you how to pick out parts for your budget computer that's it for this video let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much guys for supporting me I'll see you guys on the next video